These little guys are not afraid. Well, they are if your feet come close. I'm really worried that one of these nights I'm gonna wake up and like stumble to the bathroom in the dark and step on one barefoot. Vlog <sighs> day 85. Oh, she's just basking in the shade of her own personal palm tree. Bad news this morning. I uh, opened the drawer because I was putting away my dishes. Look what I found. There are more mice. Yeah. So I zapped a fly that was huge. And I don't know where its body is, but I, I saw that it dropped a leaf. So it's like it was carrying a leaf. And I've noticed, oh, there it is right there. Oh. Look at the. Oh, is this a bee? It it could be a bee. Okay, well this just got a little bit more freaky because they're carrying those leaves, crawling into these holes, and apparently building little nests. Hey, Sharon, have you seen this? Yeah, it's a bee. So they're they're carrying. Yeah, in the hole. Yeah. Yeah. They're making this inside. So what do we do? I was way less worried about this when I thought that it was flies. <laughs> I'm worried that it, there's, there's just eggs in there. What, oh, what's in there? Whoa, look at all this. Okay. Oh, gross. This requires eye protection. <laughs> I should throw this spoon away now. <laughs> sharon has got the right idea. Nice. So just in case I didn't have my microphone on for some of that. The basic gist of it is that there are bees that are trying to create nests in the little bolt holes that we have here that keep the shelving together. Like that. So I had the pleasure of digging out one of those nests, a couple of those nests with a spoon, and now Sheeran is filling them with a plug here and sawing those off. All right, time to take the new shoes out for the inaugural run. I uh, haven't left the house all day, and aside from, you know, rooting out bee nests, because I wouldn't call them hive. I, uh, I spent most of my day getting caught up on one of my books that I have about half written. Um, it's one that I pitched on a podcast a while back, and one that I'm really excited to write, I just haven't had the time. And so I thought, you know what, I'll get back into that. It's hard to pick it back up. So I'm gonna take the side road here. They've got a, they've, we took the little path last time, and there's this bigger road that runs right through the property. Bryce wants me to check it out just to see how overgrown it is. The other suggestion I was given was to go run on the beach, like take my shoes off and just run in the sand and run about half the distance I normally would. Well, hey there, little missus. Where have you been? Look who joined us. When she starts scratching herself, she, she just won't stop for anything. <laughs> We went from decently a road to just green. Huh, you know where you're going? Also, there are tons of burrs in this grass and they're intense enough that they actually get stuck in my leg hair. danger is that all those trees back there are toxic trees so I can't leave my stuff near them or if it rains it'll get sap all over them. And the other question is do I really want to take off my shoes and run here? Because it's a sh yeah. Bit 
faster than me in sand. Oh, my footprints. So, uh, from where I left my shoes to here is just over a tenth of a mile, which means I've got to do five laps to do a mile. And I ran about a half mile down here, so I'll do 10 laps. Because I was told I should only do about half of what I would normally run if I'm running on sand. Any running experts out there know differently, you can tell me. Uh, but I'm gonna run 10 laps now. Also, I really need water. <laughs> I ran down here and back for the camera already once, twice, can I count it as three, even though it's four, so three. That's number 10. We're done. We're done being crazy. I saw the ferry, the fast ferry go by, which means I've been here for a week. Officially, been here for a, a week? No, today's Sunday means I've been on the island for a week. I brought a dirty rag specifically so I could clean my feet off, so. Ah, oh shoot, not in the spider web. Uh. Well, that took entirely too long. That is effectively why I don't like sand. Just messy and gets all over. All right, I'm inclined to try and climb this thing. Do I want to walk through sand while wearing my shoes? Do I want to walk all the way to the top of the hill and pass out? Ah. While we're here, I might as well get my photo of the day. Well, that was in an opportune moment. Water? There you go. Finally getting a little stormy weather, which is not gonna help my shirt dry any faster. Oh geez, that is, whoa, it's raining. <laughs> <laughs>